My name is Jessica Bacon and my multicultural themed text set will be focusing on the idea of using strength and courage to defeat discrimination. The essential question that I will address through this themed text set would be how have African Americans used strength and courage to defeat discrimination? Prominent themes that will be addressed through this text set will be discrimination, strength, and courage. Through all three texts the students will see how African Americans have used strength and courage to overcome discrimination or being mistreated because of their background and their skin color. The first text that will be used in this te text set is Henry's Freedom Box by Ellen Levine. This story is based on a true story, so it's a historical fiction story um, about an African American that was living as a slave. Um, Throughout his life, he faced the many horrors of slavery, and the one that put him over the edge was when his family, and when he was self separated from his wife and children. Um, he no longer could suffer through the life that he was living, and he decided that he was going to escape. And with the help of one of his friends, he shipped himself to Philadelphia, um, to the north, so he um, was free from slavery. Um, though he never found his old family, he did successfully escape slavery and continued to live his life as a free man. I chose this text because it was based on a true story and that it discussed um, the themes that I would fo was focusing on for this text set. Um, it showed how Henry used uh, strength and courage and creativity to escape slavery. Um, the story was told from the point of view of Henry, so through cr critical literacy from this text set, um, we will see how each event was told from a s different um, person's point of view. Um, this story is multicultural because of the sense that the events are accurate, um, the pictures are accurate and consistent, the illustrations, and it focuses on the African American culture and some historical events that they had suffered through. Um, through the Scholastic website, I found that the recommended grade level for this use is 2nd through 5th, and this text set is for a 4th grade class. The next story that I will be using for this themed text set is titled, Only Passing Through, The Story of Sojourner Truth by Ann Rockwell. This story it tells about a slave that was living in New York, um, and she was eventually separated from her family and auctioned off, still staying in New York. Um, she suffered through the terrors of slavery, being beaten and forced to marry a man to reproduce more slaves. Um, since she was living in the North, slavery was beginning to end, and through the help of a white couple in New York, she was able to be set free. Um, she continued to live her life traveling and spreading the horrors of slavery, discussing um, the different things about slavery that people might not have known. Also in the story, it shows her strength and courage. Um, one event, main event being that her son was sold from New York to Alabama to another slave owner, and that was against the law. So she went to court, and her lawyer spoke for her, and she actually won the court case, so she was able to bring her son back to New York. Um, so she fought for what she believed in and continued to use strength and courage to hopefully defeat discrimination. So I chose Only Passing Through the Story of Sojourner Truth because it was a biography text put into a picture book for students um, to learn about this event in history. Uh, I also chose it to develop the critical literacy aspect because this st shows students a story from the point of view of a slave living in the north um, when slavery was starting to become illegal. So um, by utilizing this text with Henry's Freedom Box, the students can learn and compare and contrast the slavery from the north and the south and the way they escaped slavery. Um, it's an accurate account of how bravery and strength led Sojourner Truth to freedom and also defeating discrimination as she was spreading the word um, about the mistreatment of her people. So this book was recommended for grades third through fifth, and again, since this text set is for fourth grade, it would be a perfect book to use. It is also multicultural. It focuses on a story of African American history and um, historical events of how their people were treated. And um, it also has 
correct illustrations to help support the um, story. The next, or the last story that I'm using for this theme text set is the story of Ruby Bridges by Robert Cole. This story tells about a young African-American girl that began attending an all-white school after segregation had become illegal. Many people opposed the idea of keeping their children out of school as long as Ruby was there. She continued to use her faith to give her the strength to go to school and alone and suffer through vicious crowds on her way in every day. So adults and children would yell and say things to her, but she still continued to go to school because that's what she wanted to do. Um, she would pray for the people to hopefully understand and um, realize that they were just being ignorant to the situation. I chose this text because it was a different view of African Americans using their strength and courage to overcome discrimination. Um, a, dec or a century later, African Americans were still dealing with issues of discrimination, and this focuses on the civil rights era. So students can learn how even if a hundred years went by, there were still problems that they had to overcome. Um, through critical liter literacy, again, this is another point of view. It's a story of Ruby Bridges' actual experience going through the situation um, of being one of the first African Americans to attend an all-white school. Um, this book is recommended through Scholastic to use through second through fifth grade, so it works for this text set. And it's multicultural because it tells a true story um, of Ruby Bridges who was an African American and what she went through. Also the illustrations are accurate. They are um, depict the setting of the time period and the, they are consistent. I also thought this text would be perfect because it um, students can relate to it because they are in school as Ruby Bridges and they're around the same age so they can make connections to the text while reading it. I also thought it was a great way to end the text set because it is a more current event than the events of slavery. These lessons will be taught, as I mentioned earlier, to fourth grade students. Um, the, these lessons will go over um, the period of a week, the lessons ranging from a half hour to an hour. Um, the interdisciplinary connections, they will be making connections to the social studies subject. Um, we will connect the first two texts to slavery and the Civil War, and then the final text to the Civil Rights Movement and um, ideas of during the time period of Martin Luther King. Along with connecting to social studies, the students will be using um, reading strategies such as questioning and identifying the theme of a text. So they're also going to be connecting this lesson to um, language arts and literacy. The goals of this lesson is for the students to be able to eventually explain the struggles that African Americans suffered in the 1800s and 1900s. Um, I want them to be able to compare and contrast the stories of Henry Brown, Sojourner Truth, and Ruby Bridges. Um, I want them to be able to answer the essential question of this lesson, how have African Americans overcome prejudice by using strength and courage in their fight for equality and fight um, against discrimination. And I want, at the end, they're going to be able to research and create a poster about another African American who has overcome prejudice by using strength and courage in their fight for equality. So for the first lesson, um, I broke it down, every lesson I broke down into object objectives, procedure, and assessment. So the first day, um, the object objectives for this lesson will be to utilize the questioning metacognitive reading strategy. So throughout this text set, um, that is the strategy that the students will be learning and practicing. I also, they will be learning and practicing how to identify the theme of a text. Um, they, through this lesson, they will understand how African Americans were treated in the 1800s, and this story focuses in the South. Um, they will be able to explain the struggles of slavery and explain how Henry Box Brown used his strength and courage to overcome prejudice. Um, to begin this lesson, I am going to introduce the questioning reading strategy. So when would students use this strategy while reading? So to discuss how if they read something that they don't understand or they come to a word that they don't understand or they have um, a connection they want to make or if it reminds them of something, just to stop and pause and think about it. So um, we will discuss what questioning is. Um, next, we're going to discuss the vocabulary terms that we would have learned in social studies when talking about the Civil War, so slavery, the Underground Railroad, conductors, free slaves, and slave states. 
and we will have that as an open discussion in whole group. Um, the next step would be introducing the text Henry's Freedom Box and making predictions. So I'd show them the cover and we would talk about what kind of predictions they would make and all these things so far would be through whole group. Um, next I will begin reading the text and while reading the book I'm going to model the questioning strategy. So as I read I'm going to stop and discuss things that I might not know or things I might have questions about and just model how to use questioning while reading. As I model the questioning strategy, um, I'll be recording it on char paper so the students can actually see what I'm thinking. Um, after we read the text, we're going to discuss the relationship to the social studies subject that we've been focusing on. So how does this relate to the different things that we learned about in social studies? Um, after we're finished as a whole group, um, we will create a chart with evidence and identify the theme. So the theme that we will identify is courage, strength, and di discrimination. And I will um, create a chart and show the students how each of those themes were identified through the text and we will discuss that the theme is the message that the author wants you to get from the text. So the assessment um, for this lesson would be my observations of the students um, listening and in the discussion and student self-assessment of what if they what they thought the theme was and if it were related to what I had said the theme was. So no formal assessments, um, just formative and quick check assessments to see if the students are understanding the concepts introduced. So day two, um, the objectives for the second day would be to again identify the theme of a text, so using what they learned yesterday um, for some more guided practice in identifying the theme. Um, they will again practice the questioning while reading strategy. They will understand how African Americans were treated in the 1800s um, and now it will be from a person from the nor North's point of view. Um, they will be able to explain the struggles of slavery and explain how Sojourner Truth used strength and courage to overcome prejudice. So to begin we will review the ideas and the theme from Henry's Freedom Box referring to the chart that we made discussing how he used strength, courage, um, to fight against discrimination. Um, we will also review the questioning reading strategy so if they come to a word or a part of the text that they don't understand or something that they are wondering about, um, we will review that they stop and think about it and then that's a strategy. So then we, I will introduce only passing through the story Sojourner Truth. We will look at the cover and make predictions and talk about um, what they think the text is going to be about. So um, I will also introduce the activity that we were going to do. So each student will have a post-it note and a pencil with them. And as I read, I'll stop every so often and I'll have the students um, think, pair, share, and talk about any questions that they might have as they read and just jot down quick notes of the questions that they have while reading, um, practicing the questioning strategy. So we'll continue this pattern as I read. So the first break that we take, I'm going to stop and share my question that I have and record it. And then um, the students will share their questions that they have. And we'll make a list of the different things that we were wondering or questioning while reading. Um, after we finish the book, we're going to discuss the relationship to social studies and the similarities and differences between Henry's Freedom Box and only passing through the story of Sojourner Truth. Um, we won't... Um, make a Venn diagram or anything yet, but this will just be a discussion of us talking about what we noticed was different or the same between the texts. Um, and after doing that, the students are going to work in pairs and they're going to discuss the theme and um, evidence to support the theme that they found in the text. So using what they learned yesterday by identifying theme, that it's the message that the author is trying to tell, they are going to come up with um, their idea of what the theme was and evidence that they think it was in their pairs. So once they've done that, we'll share with the class, share the ideas that they had, and we'll make another chart um, that focuses on only passing through this theme. So the assessment for this lesson will be my observation, um, their discussions while they're think pair sharing, and their self-assessment. So as we share with the class, they look at the other students' answers and see if it was similar to theirs. Um, are they understanding theme? Or are they understanding questioning? And if they're understanding um, the ideas through the text. On the third day, the students are going to be introduced to the text Ruby Bridges. So the objectives of this 
day three lesson will again be identifying the theme of the text and practicing the questioning, questioning metacognitive reading strategy. Um, they should also understand and be able to explain how African Americans were treated in the 1960s, specifically um, with the idea of segregation in schools. And then they will be able to explain how Ruby Bridges used her strength and courage to overcome prejudice. So to begin this lesson, we are going to review the ideas and the theme from Henry's Freedom Box. So looking at the charts that we created, um, focusing on theme for each text. Again, we'll review the questioning reading strategy, when to question, what does it mean to stop and question, and why does that help them while they're reading. Um, then I will introduce the book Ruby Bridges. Um, I'll show them the front cover and make predictions and what they think it's going to be about. Um, hopefully right away they'll notice that this story is going to be different because it's a picture of a little girl on the front where the um, other two stories, Henry's Freedom Box was a young boy, but the story eventually um, went into as his adult life, and Sojourner Truth, again, started with her as a young girl, but it um, ended with her adult life. So Ruby Bridges um, stays young throughout the entire text. Um, once I introduce the book and the students make predictions, I'm going to read Ruby Bridges. So before I begin reading, each student, again, is going to have a post-it note and a pencil. Now, this time on their own, they are going to write down questions on post-it notes as I read. So I'm not going to stop and take breaks as I read. I'm just going to read straight through. And if the, question, if the students have any questions, um, they jot them down on, the, on their um, post-it note. After we finish... After I finish reading the read aloud, the students will share their questions, and we I won't copy the questions down this time because now they've practiced it for three days, and this is their independent practice with the strategy. Um, we'll rather just have a discussion about it and try to answer any questions or see if the questions were answered as I continue to read the text. Um, once we finish that, we're going to have a, just a discussion about the similarities and differences between Ruby Bridges and the other two texts read. And then after reading the books, the students are going to work in pairs and discuss the theme and evidence. And then, again, they'll share that with the class. So um, we'll make a chart and a new chart for Ruby Bridges and include what the theme of the text was. So, again, this assessment is the same, very um, in, uh, not for, un, informative, formal assessment. So through teacher observation, I'll listen to their discussions. Um, and pay attention to their participation in the discussions and their self-assessment. So when we identify the theme, was that the theme that they were thinking was the theme? And So day four, um, the objectives will be to compare and contrast the three different characters from each book, and they'll be introduced to their a new research project, so they'll begin to research an African-American with a story of strength and courage to overcome discrimination as the other three characters in the text. So to begin, we're going to review the information from the text, and then together as a class, create a three-way Venn diagram. Um, in the end, we'll share it, but begin, they're going to, in pairs, um, use the text to find similarities and differences between Henry Brown, Sojourner Truth, and Ruby Bridges. And um, we'll review the information as a whole group and have the students come up and fill in the Venn diagram that I'll have displayed on um, the board in front of the class. So then I'll introduce the activity tomorrow and give the students a chance to look at um, multi more multicultural texts um, to choose an African-American figure for their own project. So for day five, it'll be the summing up activity. So we'll discuss all three prominent African-American figures, so Henry Brown, Sojourner Truth, and Ruby Bridges, and review the information that we had on our Venn diagram from the day before. Um, so using picture books, the internet, and their social studies textbooks, the students are going to research the information about the African-American um, prominent figure that they found um, in day four that they want to research. So they'll um, research some information and create a poster displaying what they learned about that person and choose one of the people from the text that we read during the week and compare and contrast those two people. And that will be their final project for um, this text set. So from creating this theme text set, I learned the relationship between the stories that I chose. When I originally put them on my annotated bibliography, I saw the link, but I didn't really in-depthly understand that there was such a great link that I could use to create this mini lesson for them. Um, I also learned that using these multicultural texts, the students can not only learn about slavery and the Civil Rights Act, but they can make connections between the events. Um, I liked learning about the different texts because I had never used the um, 
story about Sojourner Truth before, and I'm really excited to use that for next year. Um, I also liked finding the similarities and differences between the events. So I knew about that, but actually being able to see them in the text was um, great, and I got excited about it because I can actually use it in my class. Um, what I found challenging was where to begin. I didn't want to know. I didn't know what culture to start with, but when I saw the connection between those three texts, I really thought I could create an interesting mini lesson from it. Um, so that's what I thought was challenging. Actually, creating that essential question for this, and then kind of what culture to choose, what culture to focus on. And in the future, I can see myself definitely using this text set in my classroom. I teach fourth grade, so I based it upon fourth grade, so I could actually use it. And um, students can not only learn about the topics being discussed, but as in my essential question for the entire class for my annotated bibliography, they can develop the empathy and understand the challenges and discrimination that they seem, while also learning about social studies and practicing reading strategies. Um, I just feel that it's a great way to definitely use it in the future in my classroom. Thank you for listening.